everyone, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and clone yourself inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, this is a follow up video to my How to Clone Yourself in Sony Vegas tutorial, which you can watch by clicking right up there or clicking on the link which I'll post in the video description. And so basically what I'm going to teach you how to do is I'm going to teach you how to make a clone of yourself in Photoshop by taking two pictures that you went ahead and took and to go ahead and piece them together in Photoshop to make it look like there's two of you in a photo. So anyway, I am just actually like playing around with the clone effect. So I actually made my clone and he's actually right over here with me and he's got some things to say. So yeah, let's go check up on him. Hey Isaac, what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm just doing my homework, man. World history. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah, I named him Isaac. For some reason, I named my clone Isaac. So if you guys have a better name than Isaac, uh, leave it in the comments below because I'm not really digging the name Isaac. So anyway, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can go ahead and clone yourself inside of Adobe Photoshop. Now, you're going to need a few things first. First of all, you're going to need a photo that's taken in the exact same lighting. So you're going to need to take two photos for this. I recommend using your standard camera, not a video camera. So I just have this uh, Samsung SL30 digital camera. It's 10.2 megapixels. And uh, what I did was I took this camera and I put it on my tripod, which is right there. It's got my camera on it. So I took this camera and I put it on my tripod. and. <coughs> I took this camera and I put it on my tripod and then I went ahead and I set it to the timer so that it would blink and take a picture 10 seconds when it was blinking and so I did that and I took a picture of myself twice in the exact same location on the tripod so I didn't move the camera at all and I took it in the exact same lighting as well so you want to take it on the exact same position so you make sure you have a tripod for this and you also want to make sure you have it in fairly adequate lighting but if you don't have it in adequate lighting then we can go ahead and uh, fix that sort of using Photoshop. So anyway, once you have both of your pictures of you in two different spots, then you want to go ahead and open them with Photoshop. So before we go ahead and get started, I have a couple examples of the final project. So here's something that I went ahead and did. I took four photos of myself, and uh, this isn't really good because I have to go ahead and fix it, but as you notice, I have four different clones of myself. But I would like to fix that photo because I see some things wrong with it. Then I have one of me here with my Mac and one of my PC, and so there's me over there, and then there's Isaac with a PC. So as you can tell, I'm a Mac, Isaac's a PC. So anyway, uh, you can see Isaac over here is a little bit blurry. That's just because of uh, the camera being out of focus. As you notice, the camera focused on me, but it didn't focus on him. So you also want to make sure that your camera is focusing on you and that it's taking a clear picture. And you don't want to have a blurry picture that ends up like this. And then the final one is the one I'm going to teach you how to do, which is me outside, me and Isaac giving each other the thumbs up. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want is your two pictures. So as you see here, I've got picture one. Oh wait, this is the wrong photo. Sorry, let me find him. You have picture one, which is just Isaac standing over there and giving himself a thumbs up. And then you have a picture of me, which is right over there. So we want to fuse those pictures together to get this one picture right here. So to go ahead and do that, you take both those pictures and drag them into Photoshop. I'm going to be using Photoshop CS4 for this, but you can use any version of Photoshop that you want to. So once it opens it up, you want to go ahead and take the photo and drag it out. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select the part with your person. Now if it's a little bit difficult, if it's a little bit more of a difficult photo, you'd want to use the pen tool to go ahead and create a uh, path around it. But since we're doing something that's really basic, what we want to do is select our crop tool and just go ahead and crop the image and click enter to go ahead and look like that and then what we do is we would click it and drag it in and then make sure it's aligned up perfectly and then as you notice it looks like this and so there we go we have our clones right here as you see here but as you notice we have a little line which is running down the screen to go ahead and get rid of that line you just want to go to the eraser tool and make sure you're set on one of these light brushes right here and make sure it's fairly big then just go ahead and click and drag down on the line and erase a little bit more until everything is well blended together. And then as you notice, we have our clone effect. As you see, I'm over here and then Alex, not Alex, Isaac is over here. Alex could actually be a good clone name. Maybe I'll change his name to Alex. Oh well. So anyway, as you can see here, I have my clone effect in Photoshop and that's how I do it. You just have to layer both the pictures onto each other and then erase the line with your eraser tool. Now for a little bit more of a tricky part, so let me just close out of all of these. So let's just say, no, that's the wrong picture, sorry about that. Let's just say we have 
Uh, yeah, that's the wrong photo. <laughs> that's the picture of what happens to me when I'm uh, filming the other part of this video. So, yeah, so let's say we have this, which is just me on the bottom of the screen. And let's say I want to go ahead and insert that into something that looks a little bit like this right here with me over there. I'm just going to say with me not right there. God, I have so many pictures. With me uh, right here. So I'm going to fuse this picture with this picture. And the, how to do that is very simple. So I'm going to take these two and drag them into Photoshop. So let's just drag them into Photoshop for now. So I have the one of me on the couch over there, which is not the one I wanted to use. I wanted to use this one. So Okay, and sorry for cutting that part out, guys. It's just I had a little misconfusion with what my files were. So anyway, we have this one right here, and then we have this one right here. So let's just say I want to go ahead and merge those two together. So I want to drag this one out, and I'm actually going to... Uh... Oh, crap. I'm going to enlarge it like this, and I'm actually just going to click out of there and drag it down like this. So, aha. So I have it enlarged like this and now I just want to go ahead and uh, zoom in and I want to just select me I don't want to select anything else I just want to select me so to do that I'm gonna grab my pen tool and I'm gonna start create and I'm gonna make sure that it's selected here to paths and that it's set to the pen tool and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start creating anchor points around my clone so just create anchor points to the points which you want the clone to be and then when it gets to this part zoom out and stretch the window and create some anchor points underneath of it and make sure it meets up with this last one. And then once it's selected around there, you want to right click and go to make selection. And just go ahead and click OK and then we have our selection here. Then just grab your move tool and move yourself onto the picture right here. Then we can go ahead and delete this. And now here comes the part where you want to go ahead and just align yourself with the entire thingamajigger. So I'm going to align myself to right around there. Right around there looks good. So now with that, we're just going to go ahead and grab the eraser tool and start erasing. So I'm going to erase off the border here. Let's erase down. Keep erasing. This will take a while, guys. So just uh, be prepared. Now for up here at the top, we're going to actually try not to erase my face, but try to keep my body of my first self in the shot. So I actually erased my face a little bit, but this is just the video. Ah, I erased my face. Shit. So let's just go ahead and speed up me fixing this mistake. And so there we have it. Now it looks like I'm completely cloned. I have one of me in the background and then one of me in the foreground. And it looks like I'm cloned. Now you can go ahead and you can mess around with this and make it a little bit better than mine. You can add more detail because I rushed through this because I'm doing a video. But anyway, that's basically the basics of cloning yourself in Photoshop. Just uh, make sure that you're taking into account those features. Make sure you keep the camera in the same position with the same lighting almost. And then go ahead and layer them in Photoshop and use the eraser tool to go ahead and erase them out. And you can also use the crop tool and the pen tool to go ahead and make the selections to go ahead and put your selection in the video, in the uh, photo. All right, so that's how you go ahead and do it. So anyway, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and let Isaac go ahead and end this video. So yeah. Hey, Isaac. Yeah? I'm going to take a break for a little bit. You end the video, okay? okay? End the video? So yeah. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For any more suggestions, feel free to go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and hopefully we'll give you guys a little shout out while we answer your questions. Also, feel free to post your questions and anything you want to ask us down there as well, and feel free to go ahead and check us out on Facebook and Twitter as well. Alright, that's it for this tutorial, and we'll see you guys next time. Unbelievable! Who names their clone Isaac? Seriously. Come on, such a brutal person. Damn it.